So we're here with Marco Schindelman, who's the president of the Arts Council for Long Beach. And um, we're talking about uh, the recent development of uh, uh, Victoria Bryan, the executive director, um, announcing that she's leaving. Um, do you have a date for when she's going to be leaving? If all goes well, end of February. Okay. So talk a little bit about, um, will she be staying on as a consultant or on the board? I have some kind of role? I've asked her to participate in the search because ultimately this transition is part of Victoria's vision for the Arts Council. So she will be a non-voting member of the search committee. So talk about the, the review process or the, or the process for selection. We will have a core group of board members on the search committee and then it'll be a two-tiered process in which uh, with each tier we'll be bringing a different set of community members to participate in the search. Break that down for me, I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, so first tier we'll have the core group of uh, board members and then we'll have people from the outside who represent either grassroots arts uh, organizations, uh, one of the bigger institutions, uh, organizations that represent a nexus between, for instance, business and uh, art or civic uh, participation in art. So they'll, they'll have a, they'll, uh, there's, so, so, so when the applications come in? Yeah. Applications come in, there will be a pre-screening process to make sure that the applications have been properly, have been properly filled out. And then once uh, that pre-screening process has occurred, then we pass on the applications to the search committee. Okay, and then, so this search committee, you're saying, I'm just trying to understand this, so there's two parts to the search, search committee. Search committee, so we'll uh, set a core group who will participate throughout the search, and gotcha. then with each tier or each round, we'll bring in a different set. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, and that and that and that second is what I'm most interested in, because the first group is the, um, it's the board members. No, it'll be board members. Right. So we'll first have a pre-screening, right. and then once all the applications that actually have uh, met the criteria of the application process, those applications will be presented to a first tier, which will be comprised of board members and a set of community members. Okay. And the second, you know, they'll make a vote or uh, a recommendation. And then when we move on to the second tier, same group of uh, board members, but now with a different group of community members. And that, and that, so that could be almost like it's going from uh, semifinalist yeah. level to finalist. finalist level. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, and your goal is to have this done by... by the transition by would happen by the end of February if all goes well. So one of the things that came up in one of the... Um, one of the um, two search <laughs> two search uh, committees uh, ago was um, the role of and, and I think that's great that you've got you know community members um, representatives in that process but one of the things that they did to search committees ago was that when they got to like let's say I think it was three finalists or four finalists they then had them meet with community members and you know to have community members give their feedback I'm just kind of curious as to have you thought about in terms of creating the criteria getting input from people before the process starts well you know for the last six months or so or even longer actually as a result of conversations with individual organizations as well as individuals and also our open conversations and our community engagement committee meetings, we've been getting continuous input as to what the needs are, what the desires are, uh, what the hopes are of the community. And that actually has informed as, uh, as far as the job description, who we see as a future ED. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm speaking more to the criteria for selection. So, I mean, you're going to have a job description, but at some right. point, you're going it to also have... includes that as well, okay. because the job description in order, uh, yeah, the job description informs the criteria for selection. So that has all been informed by these uh, conversations with the larger community. Okay. One of the things that we also, two selection processes ago, and you know the last selection process, 
uh, that we received some criticism uh, for was um, the whole issue of transparency. Now, obviously, you're, you're doing a personnel uh, search, which has its own legal restrictions. Um, what effort will be made to, within the confines of that personnel process, to still be transparent so that people know what's going on, that people you know, know like when you maybe get to the finalist stage or something like that, to let just people know how transparent the process is. Well, what probably will help is bringing these community members, you know, rather than it being a search that's strictly in-house with only board members, community members are actually participating actively. And as, as far as number distribution, we're trying to make sure that there, there's equal say on both sides. So it's, it's not necessarily a search that uh, is dominated by board members. As said, we have to be very careful because people are taking a risk when they do apply for a job because frequently their bosses do not know whether or not they're applying for a job and we don't want to jeopardize anybody's future as an right. organization right. if they do not uh, get the job. So, so what we did in that search uh, two searches ago was, uh, we, you're right, I mean we did keep all that early stuff uh, mm -hmm. confidential but at the point where there was a group of, of finalists, mm -hmm. that was very open. I mean, that was like they actually had like met with, with different community groups um, in, in, the, in the community. Is that something that you guys would consider? Uh, not really, because for the simple reason that then there would be a large number of applicants who probably wouldn't apply if they knew that was part of the process. Because it's fine if you're one of the final three, but if your boss suddenly finds out that you're looking for another job and you don't get that job, you may be fired in the process. No, but I'm saying, like, what I was talking about is like final three. Well, final three, still only one gets the job. Right. And two are then compromised if there is. And so if people know, we may not, then we're actually cutting out a whole segment of potential applicants if they knew that's what would occur during that particular process. Secrecy is very, not secrecy, but um, yeah, no. Uh, confidentiality is very important because you have to protect the applicant. If you want to get the best applicant possible, and this would compromise process as far as trying to get as large a number of applicants possible. Because if I'm applying for a job, and I know if I'm one of the final three, that this is now going to be broadcast I'm not going to apply for the job because I, I, I'm putting myself at risk. So I, let me just get back to the, 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 the issue of community involvement then right. because what I'm trying to understand is you, talk, you say that part of the selection process will involve community members. Mm -hmm. um, so you're hoping that that brings the community input Right. Part to the pro to the process. Yeah, I would say probably a better word than involvement, even though there is a, there is involvement, but most importantly is input, input that we actually take seriously, we take to heart, and we do apply to the process. So they'll have an equal vo a vote. Oh, uh, the, the the community members within. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. And uh, speaking, you asked about Victoria as a consultant. Uh, she will not have a vote, actually. She will just be there participating in the process, uh, but she will not vote. Okay. Yeah. And then, so, uh, so when the final, uh, so which then leads me to, so let's say you get to the three finalists, mm -hmm. um, assume three finalists. So who, they will make a vote to make a recommendation. To right? the board, yes. To the board. And then the board makes the final decision. Yes. Okay. All right. The search committee will be active after the 1st of January. Okay. All yes. right. Good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure.